up guys welcome to my month of movies all the films that I watched in June that I'm here to talk to you and recommend for July now this time around I wasn't able to actually watch 10 so you're gonna see at least one TV show on here which almost kind of counts like a movie in this case as always I'd love to hear at least one film that you watched last month that you have to recommend to me as well all right here we go let's get started at number 10 Sense 8. I was extremely excited to see that this Netflix series had been revived for one epic two hour season finale episode. And man, did it ever deliver. I reviewed the first season in the past. I absolutely adore this show. It's one that you just got to give a couple episodes and then you really will get into it. And while the series didn't go quite as long as they had hoped, it absolutely ended on a great note. At number nine, Halo Legends. Here we have all these different short stories from a bunch of different Japanese animators, and at least one from America. I'd say this is a must-see if you're a fan of the Halo franchise. For me, it was a little bit hard to follow because I didn't know too much of the lore, but overall there's a lot of great stuff to see here, tons of different animation quality and variety, and absolutely worth checking out what you can find on Netflix. At number 8, HAL. This anime film took me quite by surprise. At only an hour long, I wasn't expecting too much. However, it is beautifully shot, the characters and the storyline was very intriguing, and there's an interesting reveal that I certainly was not expecting. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one again so I can catch all the things I missed. It's one of those overlooked hidden gem titles that I think deserves to be seen. At number seven, Barefoot Gen 2. Here we have the sequel to the mostly unknown and underrated Barefoot Gen, which follows the story of a young boy who survives the Hiroshima bombing. While the pacing isn't quite as strong or as urgent as the first film, it's a strong follow-up that'll have you invested in the character's plight with an extremely important story that needs to be heard. Definitely worth seeing after you check out the original. At number six, Pompoko. This film comes from the late Isao Takahata and is about a bunch of Japanese raccoon dogs who are seeing their lands being completely torn away as housing developments continue to grow in Japan. This was a very intriguing environmental piece, but the story and overall impact this film has on the animation industry is stellar, especially coming from Studio Ghibli. At number five, Sicario. This is a very gripping and dark tale that reminds me kind of like Breaking Bad except with very little humor. The performances are very strong as well as directing from Denis Villeneuve, known more recently for Blade Runner 2049. If you're a fan of that film's cinematography you will absolutely notice it here and this film is definitely reference quality 4k. At number four, Hereditary. This film is the prime example of a new age in indie and modern horror films that focus on a family dynamic. Toni Collette absolutely deserves an Oscar nomination for her role, and first time director Ari Aster really came through with a great film and I can't wait to see more from him. This left my friends and I talking about for an hour after the movie ended. At number three, Ninja Scroll. This is a cult classic anime film that I saw when I was probably way too young, but since that point I was never able to forget it. It's one that I've continued to revisit as years have gone on, and I find more and more things I like about it. When I was younger I appreciated the action and overall dark feeling of it. While it's definitely for the adult crowd, I highly recommend checking it out someday. At number two, Kiki's Delivery Service. This is an extremely special anime film in that it was probably the first one I ever watched, and while I was too young to appreciate it at the time, I have since grown and I've fallen in love with it. It's got great characters and humor, a strong and inspirational message, and just seems to have an overall calming effect. If you've never seen this Miyazaki classic, you've got to check it out. And number one, Barefoot Gen. It's up there among the most saddest films that I've watched for the impact alone on all the things that you can understand and the perspective you'll see of people that have gone through this terrifying and tragic event. Loosely based off the writer's own first-hand experience, at times it's very graphic, but overall its message is so powerful that it deserves way more recognition and attention. And there you have it, those are my top 10 films from the month of June, which are of course diligent picks. So guys, have you seen any of these films on my list? Which one are you now the most intrigued to check out? Let me know your thoughts below. My name is Dylan, and if you enjoyed this review, subscribe to my channel while the video ends, and send me a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching, and stay diligent.